So a little bit unconventional in some ways, but- In retrospect, we should have taken care of this back at the beginning. Hi, I'm Natalie. And I'm Don. And welcome back to our little mountain life. This video is all about our pool barn house loft build. And spoiler alert, it's here. We built a loft, we're standing on it. It has a staircase. It's partially shiplapped. We're still working on it, but we're so excited to have a loft, to have some more storage, some more space to spread out. And we're gonna show you how we got here. So this whole loft process started with the plans for the loft, which when we had this house built by Conestoga Buildings, we knew that we wanted the loft, but we didn't, we weren't sure how to do it with the county and bedrooms and all that kind of stuff. And we might talk about that more later, but we knew we wanted a loft when the house was built, but we didn't have them build the loft. And in order to add the loft to the existing structure, we had to make an amendment to our building plans and go through the whole process with going into town and having them evaluate the plans and all that good stuff. So thankfully, when I contacted the folks at Conestoga Buildings, they were quickly turning around the new engineered plans for the loft. Something special about our engineered plans, a lot of people will have a relatively thick floor framing because that's just typical, but we wanted to preserve as much headspace as possible. We wanted to have the clearances down below us as well as up here. And the only way to do that was to engineer a slightly different floor structure. By that we mean sandwiched or laminated two by six joists. So I talked to them and they're like, yep, we worked with the engineer. We were able to set the two by six joists that were sandwiched on top of the beams and provide plenty of structural support for this loft that we are building. So a little bit unconventional in some ways, but- In retrospect, we should have taken care of this back at the beginning. That yes. would have been simpler to just get all the house plans stamped at the same time. But we didn't, and also, we're sorry, Kenny, but we had Kenny from Life on Buell Road come out to help yes. us put shiplap up, and he was hanging from the rafters and now there's a loft here and y'all could have just stood here and, and put up the ship lap. So we're yeah. sorry. We sorry, don't know Kenny. what we're doing. We're trying. But I mean, when you're building a house, especially when you've never done it before, there's a lot of things that will come up and you're like, oh shoot, we should have thought of that before. Yeah. So. We've changed our floor plan so many times at this point. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> there was one point where we had two bedrooms down on the first floor and now we only have one down there. Um, so I think what we're going to do is take this wall down and get rid of our bedroom. <laughs> yeah. So that's just how home building goes when you're a rookie. Anyhow, we got those plans approved by the county and we're able to get going. We bought the lumber and we got to town. Obviously lumber prices are up right now. So this loft, when it comes down to it, probably cost $500 more to frame it than it would have a year ago. I've built some decks before, so I understand how things kind of go with like the joist hangers and I all that kind so of good stuff. I heard so many times, it's just building a deck inside. It's yeah, so easy. It's just a deck inside it's your house. It's just a deck inside, right? I mean, it is. <laughs> Essentially, but, it was harder than that though. But uh, if you've been following us, you know that I tore my hamstring right when we really started framing out the loft. <laughs> Are they going to do the cable toss like they do in Scotland? Aye. <laughs> and we had our friend Brandon come out and help. Before we even had all the joists put in place, he helped get all the OSB up here onto this second level. And if you have worked with OSB subfloor, you know that it is not lightweight stuff. Um, so I had the injury kind of stalled out. That's a big reason why it took so long. We got back to securing the joists. We put the hurricane ties in and then we were able to get, start putting down the USB flooring, the sub flooring and working all that out. And my spacing of the joists wasn't perfect. So we had to do some extra cutting of the USB. It wasn't perfect. Yeah, I did something that wasn't perfect. I know no you're shocked. No way. Oh my gosh. Anywho, <laughs> we got the USB down. All right guys, so we're up here in the loft. All the subfloors down. Uh, for a lot of these panels, I just did nails just for temporary securing. And so Natalie is coming back through. I marked where all the joists are. And Natalie is doing an amazing job. Don't video me. I'm bad at this. <laughs> Let's see it. 
You can uh, see the technique. I keep slipping off. You can do it. Ooh, it's because I'm Sink that sucker. Bam. Oh, yeah. They all Great like technique. <laughs> and after the OSB down, she took over. I put down the underlayment and the laminate floor. And I did all of it in one day. Uh, not just one day, like four hours. I did it in the morning, yeah. If you guys didn't know this yet, Natalie is incredible. Superhero. She, she's a professional audiobook narrator, like bringing home the bacon, doing that. Yeah. She's an amazing mother, a great wife, and apparently like a professional laminate flooring installer. I guess so. It's not, well, it's not perfect, but it's done. It's, and I did it, looks it really great. fast. It looks great. We actually had Audrey go with me to Home Depot when she picked out the laminate flooring. Of course, we made sure it was one that was on sale. You know, the girls were really excited. Once once the last row was going in, we had the girls come up and carefully hang out up, up here with us. And They were really excited to see this this space start to truly transform. Because for the longest time, it was just a bunch of boards that were kind of suspended in the air, <laughs> just and, thrown across. And it was it was very treacherous looking and really hard to walk on. But imagine that you put down some plywood and some laminate flooring, and it's great. Yeah. So. And I put in some more shiplap too. My shiplapping skills are not on par with Don's, but one of my mantras is that. <laughs> Finished is better than perfect, so. <laughs> it's pretty good. Don it's actually good. No, he took out good. he took out like two pieces that I did that even I was laughing at. But we will get back to finishing the ship lapping later. Next up, as I said, we're gonna put out a video probably next week about the staircase that we put in. It's super, super cool. cool. Make sure you check Jinx. it out. Okay, I owe her a soda. Um, and then I've got railing that we're gonna put in. We're gonna put in this really cool modern like cable railing that goes through the posts and that should be really fun so make sure you stick around for that um, this whole house build has a playlist so I'll make sure I link that as well so you can see from the very first post going in the ground when Conestoga sent out their crew and we also just have general homesteading stuff so please if you enjoy this video or any other videos that we have consider subscribing and hopefully we will see you on that next video well, I hope you're with the hurricane ties and putting all what the about blocking. The what about the hizzacane ties? Wow, I don't think I can put that in. <laughs> That's so hurricane bad. Hurricane hizzacane? I know. It's a great I, joke. You I just... shouldn't put that in. <laughs> if I leave this in this video, I'm sorry. Anywho, I got the hurricane ties. Uh, I can't hold it. <laughs>